Today I will show you how to create realistic flame in Photoshop and even change it to any shape you want using this cool filter. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanja and welcome to another really fun episode. So after I did this really cool tutorial about the magical flame effect in Photoshop and use the flame filter in it, you guys sent me a lot of messages about uh, that filter that you didn't even know that that filter exists in Photoshop and that's why I decided to do a full tutorial about a flame filter in Photoshop and show you how to create a realistic flame and how you can uh, be creative with that and even change it to any shape or do a lot of cool things it's just about your imagination so without further ado let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin Great guys, we are here in Photoshop and today I will start with the black background because the fire is obviously better visible on the darker background, so the black it is. Okay, first the filter is here, the filter render flame. In case you don't have this filter, that means that you're using old version of Photoshop, so you need to have Photoshop CC and above to be able to use this filter. All right, now that we cover that, let's continue with the tutorial. So to be able to use the filter, you need to create a path for the flame to follow uh, the path. So for that, you can use pen tool, you can use shape tool, you can use any kind of selection and transform it into a path. A lot of cool things that you can do with that. So we will start with the pen tool. It's right here in case you don't know how to use a pen tool. I have a full tutorial about that explained on the link right here. Check it out and come back to see this. Okay, so first I will start my first point will be the starting point of the flame and then the flame will grow following that point and toward the next and next. Okay, and I will show you just really simple example. First, I will create a new layer and just go like one point here, one point here, make a curve and one point here, make another curve and that's it. I just have this cool shape and now I will go to filter, render and flame. And here you will see this is a dialog box of the flame. We have a lot of options. We have basic, we have advanced, and I will cover all of that in a couple of moments just to explain you first the flame type. We have six different flame types. First is the one flame along the path. So that means that we have just one flame along that path that we created. So it goes like this and then it's turning to the left. It's same here, it goes like this and turning to the left. And uh, we have just several sliders. Actually here only the width slider is available so we can control the flame width. It can be a really thin or even thinner like this or it can be thicker, wider, like it's crazy. And you can create some really cool lighting effects using this flame filter. It doesn't need to be just for a flame. So be creative, experiment, try, try to do different cool things here using this and changing some settings. And also guys, uh, you know that of course you can change the color of the flame by using hue and saturation adjustment layer or even here inside you can check this and use custom color and just choose any color you want. So for now I will use the default, the orange for the flame and go with that. So okay, I will go with a width somewhere. I don't know, let's go even thinner like this. And then I will go to the advanced and then we have again a lot of options here. We have turbulence, so it can be more turbulent like this, like cool fire. Then we have jag filter, it can be all the way to zero, not jag at all, or a lot of this crazy jag effect. And this can be even cool and maybe combining with the blur or motion blur or Gaussian blur or whatever, it can be cool effect. So I'm now encourage you to try on your own some cool uh, combination of this filter with some other filters to it can be really, really cool. All right, so this is Jag, I will go somewhere down, then opacity, it's opacity, it can be opaque or it can be transparent. So this is pretty transparent, even barely visible, so like this. So this is for you to decide how much opacity you want. Then flame lines, the complexity of these lines, so it can be less complex, just one line or even more and more and more complex, right? Just play with that experiment. And then we have a flame bottom alignment. So this bottom part. And with this, again, you can be, it can be aligned to the bottom or it can be like randomized, not so aligned. So it depends of the settings. And then we have a flame style. So we have a normal, it's a normal, then we have more uh, violent. So it's 
a little bit more violent, it's crazy. And we have flat, and this can be cool maybe in some 2D designs, or it, it has really cool uh, maybe, I don't know, using 2D uh, landscapes and you want to create a fire that suits that 2D environment, this is flat, really cool for that. So I'll go with the normal and then have a flame, uh, flame shapes. We have parallel uh, to, the, uh, to the center. You will see that in the next example, then spread. It's more wide, the top it's more spreaded, and this to the center it's more um, narrow top, then oval, and we have pointing, it's really pointing out. So you can again choose among uh, different, five different options right here. And you can of course randomize the shape, and every time you click it will randomize, or you can just play with this slider and again have different arrangement. All right, and when you press OK, you will have your shape. You can go to pad. If you want to save uh, to have this pad maybe for another one on new layer to create a different shape of the flame, you can just leave it and just deselect it, go back and just play with the layer, move it, transform it, make it bigger, smaller, wider, whatever you want. You can change the color. You can go with the hue and saturation adjustment layer and just play and change to any color you want. It's really cool and easy to do that. All right, and uh, use, let's let's delete this, I don't need it, and use some filters that I already told you, maybe motion blur and just add some motion blur here in case you want to create some cool effect or maybe even more, I don't know, for some light leaks or, it's really cool because you can, you can be really creative with this. All right, this is just first simple example. Now let me show you how you can create the shape, uh, the flame in some, different type of uh, shapes, maybe oval or any any shape that you want. So let's do that. So to be able to do that, I will just move this one to the left, create a new layer and uh, go and create some oval shapes and maybe round shape. We can use selection tool and just create a circle like this and then go to a path here and just click this option right there. If you press and hold Alt, you will get additional options, the tolerance, you can change the tolerance and uh, the bigger tolerance is, the less point will be here. But this is one way to create. I will delete it to create uh, to show another way. Another way is to go to shapes and go to ellipse and just create a path. But you may need to make sure that uh, you are mm, uh, selecting here, not the shape, but the path. So this is important. And this is it. We have this and you don't want anything here. And that's it now. Let's go back to the layers. Let's go to the filter, render, flame. And this is it. As you can see, we have some really cool uh, flame shape and we can change the width, maybe something like this. Maybe you want less turbulence here. Maybe you want more jagged. I don't know, maybe to create some kind of portal to combine two of them, I don't know. And that's it. But we have here again, normal, violent, flat. Let, let me show you flat. Flat, it's really cool. Depends what, what are you using it for. And here we have oval, spread, and all of these that I already, already show you, but it's really cool. All right, and here I will just, I can just go and say, all right, this is cool, I like this. I will just deselect the path and move this right there. This is one version, but you can go and select the path again, create new layer, go to filter, render flame and create different type of flames. So maybe you want multiple flames along the path. So this is a little bit different. It's really cool. Maybe you want to create Doctor Strange portal effect or I don't know, whatever you want to do with this. Maybe some uh, flame uh, iris in the eye or just be creative. Just look at this and think, what can you do with this? It's so many possibilities, especially in photo manipulation field. So just have fun with this. Then just go maybe uh, multiple flame pad directed. A lot of crazy things, see? Like a burning star and again, you can change the angle, you can change some settings and have a different effect. And remember that this flame effect is a little bit processor heavy, so you need to uh, just be patient and let a Photoshop do the, uh, do the thing. So if you want something like this, press OK and you will see it's really cool effect. So let's deselect this. And this can be, again, ton of uh, ways how you can use this cool effect.
Right, let me show you how you can put it in some different shape than a circle. So I will just deselect this and go with the custom shape tool and you can choose any shape you want. Leaf, I don't know, light bulb, triangles, whatever shape you want or you can draw your own shape using a pen tool and that's it. I will just use the arrow, just a regular arrow to show you this. Create a new layer, again go to filter, render, flame and you will see in a couple of seconds. Now it's crazy because I, I use different parameters here but still this can be really cool but what I want here I want to multiple uh, flames various angle or no maybe I want well, let me show you, one direction right and I want them to be shorter like this because they're too too big now so this is cool in the shape of the the arrow and you can change the angle of course however you want it's really cool change other settings i will not go now again through all of this because it's time consuming and i already showed that so you got a point just play with the settings press ok and in a matter of a couple of seconds you have really cool really cool flame in the shape of the arrow dish, 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 dish. So guys, as you already saw, the possibilities are endless. Only limitation is your imagination. So just go with this, play, and you can create really cool effects. Let me show you another way how you can create a flame. It's along just one path in case you need that. That's an option too. And I think we are finished for today. So let's do it. So let's move this a little bit up. Let's use a pen tool and just create a path, something like, like a straight line, right? And then I will create a new layer. Then go to filter, render, and flame. And that's it. And as you can see, we can create something like this, but maybe I will go with the second option, multiple flames along the path. This is this is it. And uh, we can we can create something really cool like this. Let's let's just see. It can be really crazy. So this is cool. Or I can go with this fourth option and go with the angle around 90, right? Or maybe 180, let me see, 180. Yeah, that's cool, or even zero. Zero will be up, I think, so yeah, it will be up. So in case you need the flame to be along one line to burn something, I, know, I don't know, whatever you want, this is cool option. And again, you can play with the height of the flame, actually here is the length, and uh, the width, maybe you want more wider flames like this or even wider flames to create something really awesome some really big fire i don't know and play with the intervals play with the angles play with all of this i'll just make it a little bit less like this and then you can go and change here turbulence complexity line complexity etc etc so this is cool and now when you're finished with this you can go right here and change the quality. This is default is medium. You can go fast, but it won't be so good quality. Low, maybe fine. It's the slowest one because it's um, it's using uh, the most of processor time, but it's really cool. You will see now it's, it will take more time to render it out. But as you can see, it's really good quality of the flame. And uh, this is really cool if you want to light something or along the line or whatever, or you can say this is not a flame at all. This is like some really cool mustache or mustachi mustache. So you can just transform it, turn it upside down, and just put it some put it at some guy's face, and you have some cool mustaches. Or maybe you can just even warp it, and I don't know play with this however you want. Maybe something like this. Of course, you can play with with this however you want, and you have this, and just put it on some guy's face. And maybe this is an eye, why not? Maybe we have some flames as the eye. This is one, let's copy, this is another one. So you got a point. You can be really creative with this kind of uh, filters. Right guys, so that's it for today. I really hope that you like this episode and that you got inspired from this to create something really cool using a flame filter in Photoshop because you don't need just to create a regular flame. You can do that. You can create a candlelight. You can create some really cool flames. Just try experiment with this. But you can create so much more than this. Some really cool effects like 
fire mustaches or whatever as I already showed today. Only limitation is your imagination, so just have fun, play and enjoy this really cool uh, flame filter in Photoshop. Also guys, if you like this episode, if you appreciate this content, just press the like button down below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. In case you want to ask me something about this episode, write me down there in the comment section below, I will be glad to answer it. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.